Your brand new Sapphire Nitro Plus graphics card has just arrived, but you're not sure what to do next? Don't worry, with this quick installation guide, you'll be gaming in no time. First off, let's get to unboxing. In this video, we are using the Sapphire Nitro Plus Radeon RX 7900 XTX Vapor X Series graphics card. In the box, besides the card, you will find a handy manual, an ARGB extension cable, as well as a metal support bracket. Before you install the card, make sure your PC is powered off and that its power cord is unplugged. At this point, you can plug the 5V ARGB cable into the card to later synchronize the card's ARGB features with your motherboard software. In order to install the card, you will need to free up the expansion slots at the back of your PC case. Then, plug your Nitro Plus RX 7900 XTX graphics card into the PCI Express X16 slot on your motherboard and align the card with the expansion slots. You should use the slots that are the closest to the CPU. To prevent the graphics card from sagging, you are also provided with a sturdy support bracket. Align it with the expansion slot so that it rests directly underneath the card, and then use the screws to fasten the card with the bracket in place. You can also adjust the support on the right side of the bracket. Connect the 5 volt ARGB cable to the 3-pin ARGB header on the motherboard. Finally, plug the three 8-pin power connectors from your power supply into the card. For this graphics card series, we recommend a minimum 800 watt power supply unit. Now take the cable from your monitor and plug it into one of the card's video outputs. In this case, you will need an HDMI or a DisplayPort cable. The Nitro Plus RX 7900 XTX graphics card has two ports for either. Just don't make the rookie mistake of plugging the video cable into the motherboard. Now it's time to reconnect the main power cord to your PC. And that's it! You should now be able to safely turn on your computer with your new graphics card installed. Before you dive into your favorite games, don't forget to download and install the latest Radeon drivers and software from AMD's website.